Hey guys, you join me here, Slum86, and we are back on Football Manager with Lavender FK. So, as you can currently see from the tables, we are in second place, a point off Rosenborg 2, and we both have played our games ahead. So, for me, that's good because they were a couple of points ahead of us. I had two games ahead, but we've managed to close that up. Um, so, going into the final round of, um, I think we've got maybe six, seven games left. Um, we are looking pretty good. We have a two-point gap to Nardo, who beat us in the last game. Um, and after that, then, there was a, a good gap. So if we can string together a few more results, I think we can really cement our standing here on the top of the table. Um, previously, as I said, I think we left off with um, Nardo, which we lost to. And then we picked up... Seven points out of three games, which is not too bad. And we have two more games here today, which is against Barum. And we are also playing Bodo Glimp 2. Uh, and then we'll be coming back for the last two games against Ersun and Foy. So they'll be the two games we'll be picking up in the end. And hopefully that will see us um, top of the table, as I say. So we won't, wait, blah, 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 blah. We won't waste much more time, guys. And... Um, We'll get straight in here to the first game. So you can see our lineup here. We have Brazil back from injury and we've moved Clement out to the left. I think he's performing a little bit better out there. Um, and obviously Patrick is on the right. So now the one thing we do, I do, do think has happened. Why can't I scroll down? Our two center mids are suspended. They picked up enough yellow cards to be suspended. So we are playing two of our second string midfielders in their roles. So hopefully that will work out for us. So as the game kicks on, we'll just lower the music and we want to inspire the boys. As I say, we've had a good season. I think no matter what way, this would be a good way to, to depart with Lavender. But I would like to see us get promoted if at all possible. So we're off. We're in the all blue kit. And uh, three points. Well, if we can get six points here in today's showing, we'll be quite happy with that. And we will also keep an eye on the score in the Nardo Floyd game as they are also playing. Lovely. Clement is in. Oh, good save. What? Oh. Oh, he's not going to run to that. Jesus. Good tackle, I think. Good tackle. Oh, Beck is clean through. Oh. So there's a little bit of... Until we get that first goal, just a little bit of nerves, I suppose, more than anything. So hopefully we can get it. We're only seven minutes into the game. Corner whipped in. Oh, confusion between the centre half and the keeper there. That's a terrible foul. But we got away with it. something oh, it's going to be a wasted opportunity in this oh what a terrible effort that was from our right back so we're getting a lot of highlights at the start of this game which i don't know is that a good or bad thing but they mostly seem to be for us oh i say that now and they'll get a counter here Lovely ball, Clement is on. 
through one left back picks it up oh it's just that final third um, ball is just letting us down and still in there between Floyd and Nardo so hopefully Floyd can do some damage against Nardo there and we can extend our gap a little bit I would be hopeful enough we'll demand more from the boys Yes, yes. Oh, 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 my God, it's going everywhere in the back. Then surely this time, oh, that was such a great ball from Clement. Oh, who's there? Nobody's up there, thank God. Yes. Yes. Go on. Yo, what a finish. Simon Beck, what a cheeky, cheeky finish. You love to see us. That is fantastic. Hopefully that opens the floodgates for us now, guys, and we can just kind of pour forward and score four or five more. I'm glad he take that. Obviously, Rosenberg aren't playing today, so if we do win, we'll be top of the table, which is... Just a real boost to the team. So we have struggled for goals in recent games. So it'll be good if we can pick something up. Beck is on it again. He's having a blinder today. Lovely cut back. Nobody there. <laughs> Such good opportunity there. And now we're tight in midfield. Somebody. Yes. Great foul. Well, or great tackle even I should say. Lovely slip pass through. Oh, just can't do it. So we're half an hour in, one nail up. We're looking like the stronger team, but as is the joys of football manager, that can all change with a mistake or a, a goal in the opposite end. So. Good tackle, no, he's true. Oh, good block. Yes. Oh, Patrick. Oh, that's a terrible effort. Oh. Lovely control. So we're playing quite well, if I don't mind saying so. We just need to Beck is on the ball, pick it up. Lovely pass, Clement will burn him. Using the pace, ball is back. Oh, Brasdell needs to be faster on that. He's a striker, come on. Yes, surely, yes. Fantastic goal. Again, Beck the architect. Just fantastic to see it. And that is one of our replacement fielders who scores. So that gives us a little bit of a cushion now coming up to half time not even we still have 10 minutes of the first half to go it's been all action this first half and still nail nail between Floyd and Nardo so that's a good result for us Picking up all those kind of long balls into the boxes, which is also nice to see. Yes, Beck spreads the play again. He's playing so well for 19 year old this season. He's been fantastic. Oh, that's the first one we haven't gotten to. Great tackle. That had to be a good one. So what's interesting is our two replacement midfielders are playing out of their skin. They're really taking their chance. Um, I'm going to tell them that things are going well, but we think they can do better and we can still improve because we really want to keep on the offensive here and keep attacking. Lovely play, lovely play. Oh.
throwing it to nobody really, but I'm impressed at my two. Oh, that could be offside. Oh, I think he was offside, yeah. Um, yeah, nice to see the two uh, reserve midfielders. I've had a falling, not a falling out, but one of them came to me demanding to kind of play more game time, and I'm just showing he might be doing enough to justify that. So we'll just have to see how we go in the next couple of games. Oh, keepers, yes. Everson has been a rock at the back as well. Lovely fast ball out to Clement. Clement on the legs, running. Oh. And the other good news is Clement did sign a contract, I believe, in the last one. He mightn't have signed straight away. Oh, he was nearly in there. But yeah, he was fighting. He didn't want to sign. And then we waited a while. We approached him. And thankfully, the second time he, he did sign the contract with us. He entered into negotiations, so we were happy to be able to sign him up. Back with the ball, out to Clement. Clement cuts inside. Oh, lovely. Oh, just can't finish. Brasdale surely onto this. Patrick, oh. had so many good chances we're winning that's the main thing we are still winning but I think we could maybe have grabbed a couple more just about got away with that spreading the ball out to Beck who stays out wide lovely Beck is still there yes Brasdell oh yes he's back amongst the goals he was out with, um, I believe, was a broken rib. Uh, this is his second game back in the starting lineup, and he's thankfully grabbed the goal there for us. To be fair, we look very good here today. I think it's time to start maybe looking at a few substitutions. These two centre mids have been outstanding. Lovely. Brazil is in. Yes. Yes. That link up play is just beautiful to watch. Beck is on a 9.6 rating. 9.7. It's been a long time since I've seen a player hit that kind of achievement. And it's fantastic to see. So, with this at the moment, we will look to make a few changes. We might drop our left back just for fitness concerns. These two boys are playing fantastic, so we won't bother changing them. Clement, we will change, because um, he's had a tough old one of it too. And you know the other person we need to look at changing is Beck, but we might wait a little bit longer. So he gets that standing ovation when he comes off the field. Because um, he's also played a lot of games in that position. And I think it's just good to give him a little rest, boys. So you just need to keep the pressure on. Don't let him throw a ball over the top. Yes, Beck is there again. He's been so good. Brazil's away. He's on the hat trick. Has to be. Oh, good save, keeper. So we are back, sorry for that little pause in commentary, uh, we are going to make another quick change and we are going to rest 
spec, I believe, is what we're saying. Yes, still playing in 9.7. So proud of the kid. And we're bringing on uh, Ratui, who normally plays out on the right, but can play center. And has done an okay job winning in there before. I've noticed since Clement has gone off as well, the attack down the left is kind of dried up. So hopefully I can jinx that now. And Beck is down there. Lovely ball. Yes, has to be hat-trick. Brasdell. You love to see us. 5-0. 10 minutes ago, we'll make that change. Because Beck has just been outstanding today. So he deserves that rest point. Oh, wow. Bouncing ball came through. Praise the boys here. Five minutes to go. Just want them to keep going as they're going. So they're just starting to come out into the game in the last five, ten minutes there, which is not great. Just Oh, Brazil is in. Oh, top. He was going to sneak it. Oh, nice slide ball down the side. Oh, that's a good goal. That's a good finish. So we didn't keep our clean sheets, which is not fantastic. But, um, yeah. We're still up, but we still can't complain. We're top of the league as it stands. Rosenberg have the game in hand. This has been an exceedingly long game with the amount of highlights that has been on show, but we're nearly over now. Oh, he has to be offside. How is he not offside? I think we got away with that a little bit. Come on, ref, blow it up. Nobody needs to be out any longer than we already are. Oh, that's a terrible pass. So as good as we've been today, there's still work to do in that final third, that killer ball. Beck was outstanding. And um, to be fair, my two replacement midfielders, um, Cons Conradston and Solardal, I hope I'm pronouncing them somewhat right, were excellent in centre mid, and that is three points in the bag. So we'll take that, guys. So I say we'll be back in a second with uh, match two, which I believe was against Glimp. So we'll see how we're going for that one, guys. I'll see you in a second. And we are back. So we're going to pick a similar team to the last game. One change in center mid. Um, we're dropping Heike for Overguard. Um, other than that, we're going to go unchanged. We'll leave Berg on the bench. He's back from his suspension. But as I say, we leave him on the bench and we'll play Oscar in that advanced midfield role. And uh, fingers crossed it goes as well as it did last time for us. Picking up the six points would be a fantastic achievement. So we're just going to tell them to carry on straight from where they left off. We think they can all make the difference because they're fantastic. Don't like that Brazil is complacent. And we are playing again in the all blue kit. So we'll see what we can do here against a B team from a Premier Division outfit, I'd imagine. Oh, good save. So they're testing us already down the wings with little true balls. We'll have to up our game just a little bit. Um, Rosenberg won 5-2, so they did then take back the league, uh, the take back the league, the lead of the league. Couldn't get that straight in my head there. Um, so we'll have to hope for a slip up from them if we are to gain automatic promotion and no slip up from ourselves. And we are not playing well at the moment. We're 15 minutes in, we haven't had a shot on target. 
not even a single shot yet so that's not a great sign or start um arnardo playing they're playing later on they did win against fly one nail as well so does that count as a shot on target i don't know but if it does at least we got one and we just need the boys to pick up the pace here a little bit that kind of football is risky oh god they're cutting us open at the moment they're flooding forward loads of players wow we got away with that so they managed to flood forward there fast and that's not going to be good enough for us we're getting caught there that's a goal and he's on side oh vomit so we were work cut out for us now um we want to fire up the team this is not good we need to try and maximize as many points as we can get and this is not the way to be doing it come on Beck, get a delivery in lovely oh and they're going to win the second ball which puts us straight under pressure again pass Clement too easy yeah, oh they're winning that second ball every time so we still haven't had a shot on target or even a shot that counts so that's not been a fantastic start to this um, half football and it's gone a lot quicker than the last one as well so as you can see we have no attacking threat whatsoever so we are furious I need to get them fired up and if Brazil doesn't seem to want to play I think you know what we're just gonna do it straight off the bat we're not even going to waste. So we've taken Brazil off. He just looked uninterested. No interest. Don't ask me why. After getting a hat trick in the last game. And he's starting. You think he'd be. Because he was one of those players who bitched about me signing other players in his position. So he needs to do more to justify his starting slot. Beck is getting into those little spaces. Lovely ball. Back through. Oh. Yes. Yes. Come on, boys. Yes, Clement is in. Clement, you got... Oh. Clement, come on. But we're winning the 50 ball out in midfield, which we weren't doing in the first half. Quick ball through. Oh, where's that going? All right, steady it down. Ball out to Clement, and we lost the highlight, which is not a great sign. But we've managed to get off the board on shots. Yes, Beck has stolen that lovely lead. Go on, go on. Yes. Oh, straight at the keeper. This is going to be big because if Nardo win, they're going to overtake us. I don't like that. Oh, who's there? Oh. So we are not playing well. So we're going to make a couple of changes. So we're going to bring on Berg for here. Um, Patrick is playing pants. But so is Clement. So we're going to change Patrick. And that's all our subs. Clement doesn't get sent off. Oh my god. Clement is sent off. Clement. 
Clement is sent off. What are we going to do? Can he play out there? Not fantastically. Beck can play out there. He can't play in the center. Can he play in the right? God, he can't play anywhere. So now we're under a bit of pressure, but we're going to chance him out on the left. And we'll play with no recognized striker again. This has not been our day. So we're going to berate the team. Try and get a goal out of them somewhere. And now we've no striker to chase onto that, but... This has been an utter disaster. So we can only hope off camera we do enough to secure a promotion out this stage because it's gone from being in our hands to possibly needing results to go our way elsewhere. Which is not something we wanted to be doing. Come on, win the second ball. Right. So, you know, nice and steady. That'll do. This guy, what's he going to do? He's got pace to burn, but he's... Oh, what? Oh, God, they're playing around us now. So, I think we are going to do another change tactically, and we are going to push him back up and push back out to the left confirm the change let it take effect demand more for team we're going to go attacking as well we've just been outplayed here today I think I'll have to take some of the fall for that I think we were it's a uh, too hopeful of what we had achieved in the last game. Oh man, we're getting away with murder. Ten minutes to go. Can we salvage something from the game? All we can hope is ask our beast Nardo later, and that'll just tighten up the rest of the field to the, our tails, which means we can't really afford too many more slip ups, but it's not looking good. One. Oh, this is what we need is just a chance. Oh, that kind of sums up our day. And that really does add insult to injury. We've now lost our right back to injury. Don't think we can make any changes in fact the changes we made never happened so that's that's a bit bizarre but that's probably a good thing because we can at least do this and this and Beck has gone from having a 9.7 or something to a 5.9 this game so You've just been shut down. Wow, he's offside from there. I don't understand that one, but okay. That takes the end of that game, so we'll be glad to see the back of that one. Wow, that was a disappointing result. And um, We did improve in the second half, but we were nowhere near good enough at all. So we're just going to tell him I'm far from pleased. I don't know what more we can see. We've lost a right back to injury. So we'll get up the league table here. Um, it remains unchanged, but I think we've given up ground here to Rosenberg and Nardo. So 
if Nardo do pep us, it's in the playoffs, and then we need results to go our way. So I think we'll sign it off there, guys. Um, and we'll be back for the final two games of the season uh, next week. And fingers crossed, we'll be in a much better position. Yeah, definitely getting into squeaky bum time, though. So as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. I've been Snowman86, and this has been the Journeyman on Football Manager 2021 with Lavender FK. We'll see you all again, guys. Take care.